Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep shut up. I love acronyms. It helps me remember terms and it helps me level up my life. These are three acronyms that are gonna help you. The first one is GIGO, G-I-G-O, which stands for garbage in, garbage out. What books, what media, what shows, what music are you allowing into your brain? Is it garbage? Because all it's gonna do is give you garbage out. You could also think of it as this, good in, good out. Your second one is PMA, positive mental attitude. We should all be working on having a positive mental attitude about everything. If you wanna level up your life, this is gonna help you. Now the last one is NMA. It almost sounds like NME or, <laughs> yeah, enemy. Your NMA is actually your enemy. NMA stands for negative mental attitude. If you wanna change your life, you're going to have to work on your NMA. I know that I can write the script of my life. I alone am in charge of who I am. It's true that I am unique, highly favored, and that I'm loved unconditionally. I was born that way. Mr. Hitchcock, what is your definition of happiness? A clear horizon. Nothing to worry about on your plate. You are not your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. You are a divine being. I love myself. I am right where I need to be. I am exactly where I am supposed to be at this moment in time. I Is someone living in your head rent free? Did someone say or do something to hurt your feelings that caused you anxiety, stress, and you're even losing sleep over it? This recently happened to me and I went to lunch with one of my really good friends and he mentioned this book, You Were Born Rich by Bob Proctor. And I've actually read that book, but at the time I wasn't going through this scenario. And he said, when this happens to me, I say the following affirmation. I loved it so much I wrote it on a post-it card and I need to share it with you because if someone is living rent-free in your head and it's causing you to lose sleep, you're gonna need this affirmation. Here it goes. I willingly release the thoughts and things that clutter my mind. I release them to their highest good and me to mine. And you could even insert their name where it says, I released them to their highest good and me to mine. Try it and follow me for more coaching tips.